Alright, so welcome back. Hope you're having a fabulous day. Guess what? Dorothy breakdown everything you need to know what this character is about and why she is super freaking important. Today, let's talk about it. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe. Helps out massively. Let's hop over there and let's break it down. So first thing on the stream, they announced a crap ton of stuff. I want to start off with the gameplay first, right? So this character is a burst one support character, which is already huge. Now, you got to understand, and I saw this being pushed everywhere, which it may potentially partially substantially ish part be true. Yes, she's great, outstanding, broken. But that doesn't mean that Litter is going to get replaced. Litter is still a great character, and she still will see a lot of play across the board. Though this is a good character they'll swap in here and there, they both shine. You're losing a bit of survivability by incorporating uh, Dorothy instead of Litter. Again, yes, you're getting like insane amount of damage and all that other stuff. You're getting huge buffs, you are. But you're losing out survivability, which is big. Some content is good to swap Dorothy in, some content may not. So it's not an end-all replacement to Litter. You don't have to bash Litter. I've seen that being the number one um, thing being pushed everywhere, that Litter is now dead. So that's far from the truth. You can clearly see that it's a good character. She's Her kit is designed to support, but she's not like the end-all number one support of the game. Maybe she is, but it doesn't kick off Litter. That's the whole point of it, right? So again, in the gameplay, they're doing an insane amount of damage. I um, mean, you can see when, uh, when I think, when Dorothy bursts, it's nuts. It's like a huge beam of light or something like that, which I think I already passed that. Uh, let's see. This is, so again, this is the new character also. Her name is like Ray or something like that. Uh, she also has a really cool burst. And the penguin is the best part. I love how the penguin looks. Really cool thing. And then when she bursts, you have like multiple penguins shooting, uh, which is a really cool thing. Okay, I was way off. So I, I went back to the beginning. Let's see it. But the burst cooldown also is 20 seconds only, which is nuts. Overall, this, is, this, this character is going to be crazy. So you can clearly see here. Here's the burst kickoff. Look at that animation and everything. It's pretty sick. Um, and then she does stack up an insane amount of damage. And when she bursts, one of her attacks, uh, those skills, like that skill, is now on a two-second cooldown, which means that skill is activated five times or something like that um, in that one duration of the burst, which is which is also huge, right? So she is an absolutely crazy character. And you can see that's her attack right there. Holy crap. It's it's nuts. Very, very cool character. Uh, but we have the kit over here, which we can jump into um, and show it to you. It's before this. Oh, it's after this. Whoops. Here we go. Um, but basically, this kit is actually also really nice. It's burst one. Okay. Supporter type. Pilgrim character. Very, very simple stuff. Nothing too crazy to look at here. So reading through. When attacking with the last bullet, all allies burst skill cooldown goes down by 1.56 seconds. That's how that's going to work, which is very, very strong. When attacking with the last bullet, if you are in manifest state, to all allies, when attacking an enemy's part, so specific part, the damage dealt to that part will increase by 50.68% and maintains this for 5 seconds. Basically, her burst, I think, is what causes her to get into that manifest state. And when she's in that state, this will kick off, which will apply to all of your teammates this buff that will do significant 51-ish percent damage to a specific uh, part of the enemy, which is huge, right? So, first, skill is nuts. That's there. Now, second skill plus burst, this entire unit works in such a nice and very anniversary y way where it's it's hyped and it's gonna be a very, very broken character, right? So, with this, Scorched Earth, that's what the attack is basically. Scorched Earth is literally the name. I'm not even joking here. All enemies uh, will basically take 216% of attack power um, as distributed damage, which again might be an off translation, but just 216% damage to enemies, which is nuts. To myself, this is the burst expression. Uh, change cool uh, down time of skill 2 to 2 seconds and maintain this for 10 seconds. So, originally, this has a 20 second cooldown skill 2 over here. Instead of keeping that 20 second cooldown, it will kick that 20 second cooldown to a 2 second cooldown. And over the course of 10 seconds, it will kick off. It will proc this thing right here, skill 2, 5 times. So, it will basically apply somewhat over 1000% uh, damage to all enemies in the field. Which is nuts, bro. You you seeing this kit? It's freaking crazy. But there's also this thing where it brands an enemy. When it brands that enemy and maintains that for 10 seconds to the enemy branded, it accumulates the damage taken by that target. And once um and once it's done, it will distribute all that damage that you put into that target that got branded amongst all the other damage, all the other uh, enemies in the fields. Right? The maximum damage altogether that you can accumulate is basically almost 8,900 and 83% or 0.83%, right? Which is nuts. Um, and all that power will be just distributed. That's it. And it will maintain that for 10 seconds. So 
whatever this kit is, whatever this character is, she is nuts. And she is like, like the word game changing is putting it lightly. She is nuts. Um, again, she's not an end all replacement to litter. Like, oh, we got to that now scrap litter on every single team. Litter is now fallen off meta gone for good. Litter's still there. She'll pop up here and there, right? She'll be definitely pretty good. But she is a Pilgrim Burst 1 supporter. Uh, her damage, she's just, like, she is a supporter for just damage. Raw damage, uh, pure AoE damage, pure annihilation damage. Her plus some of the boss killers, they'll become blo uh, boss slaughterers. That, that'll be, like, the new terminology put out there, yeah? But this character is very, very powerful. And it is somebody that, if you are looking to pull, this is good. This is a very good banner to go for. Um, again, similar to Modernia. She is great, and she is a limited banner. As always, go for it for a Pilgrim banner, not a limited banner, but a Pilgrim banner. It's always worth it. Again, I'm not gonna, this is not a Shuji Summon, and I do not want to do a Shuji Summon just yet because we have to see what the character looks like. So as we get closer, as we see more stuff, if the global stream shows anything off, but again, it's a must summon. It is. The thing is, there's a collaboration, which we don't know what happens. I don't want to talk about that because we don't know when that drops. And, you know, Dorothy is so good. Maybe you lose on a meta. If you don't care for meta, you just keep going. Uh, but there is this, which is also big, right? So a lot of potential with what they do here. But um, yeah, the, the character itself is very powerful. So like boss killer, you can put this to. Story slaughterer. I, I think on tier list, she's going to be like SS tier on every slot because she's a support character. And support characters already get favored when it comes to tier list and stuff like that. And not only is she just a support character, she is a crazy support character, right? The like, just read it. Read what her passive does, and you'll understand how much raw damage and how much she actually puts up, which is, it's bonkers to think about, right? So, never in a million years did I expect, Dor like, remember this. Before this stream got, like, shown and everything like that, and also everyone loves the cover animation. If you like that animation, have fun. It's a cool animation, yeah, whatever. But before this stream dropped, everyone was saying that this unit is dog crap. Everyone was saying that this unit will become dog crap. Uh, a support pilgrim is gonna be so terrible. And now everyone ate those words so fast because she is good. Now again, we'll have to wait. You have to wait and see what happens when the unit actually drops because whatever's written on paper may not actually be that broken. You see it here, it looks pretty broken. But again, always testing is there. So don't commit to this is like the number one most broken character in the game. Wait, see things change right so always just experience what the character looks like in game uh from what i see on paper there is no way this drops anything below outstanding like there's no way from what we see here there's no way this is anything below outstanding um so similar to modernia you read it on paper and you were like yeah that's pretty good you know she was actually you know kind of different she pulled off being really damn good in comparison to just okay so that did happen but with this character it's just it's broken on paper so Hopefully it translates that way in game and you see it that way, but god, bro. She is a crazy character um, And then just if you pull for waifu pull for waifu you win in the meta format you win in both formats But yeah, that's there. So quick, you know skill breakdown uh, Guide I guess you can say on the character. Um, I'll do a separate guide for the other character a breakdown. It's more uh, Her kit's not bad. Not like a must-have broken character. It's mainly helping you bypass the wall, right? That's that's the whole purpose of it. So that's there. Thanks for watching. Peace and enjoy that's been for me. That has been Dorothy, Burst 1 Supporter, Absolutely Crazy Unit Skill Kit Breakdown. Yeah, not bad.